One of the things I like about whiskey is that it's a very complex and unique flavor. Our whiskey is single malt, single barrel, non-chill filtered, all of which maximize flavor. Our recipes are definitely inspired by the craft beer industry. There's a whiskey drinker and every craft beer enthusiast. It has flavor, it's got chocolates and coffee notes, but it's so smooth, people who don't even like whiskey will like it. There's a level of attention to detail, of craftsmanship, of quality that I think is sometimes lost in the era of mass production. And we want to have that same craftsmanship in our whiskey. Philadelphia now has one of only two malt houses in the United States that do traditional floor malting. That's the people over at Deer Creek Malt House. They're really small batches. There's a ton of attention to detail. The barrels are very important in our process. They have to be toasted a certain way and then charred a certain way. Our barrels are being made by hand. Cynthia trained at one of the only places in the United States that still teaches traditional coopering. It's a skill that's kind of been lost. We're really excited about our space on Martha Street in Kensington. This is a great neighborhood. The people here really care about their community. It's an old turn of the century building. It's got a lot of character. It's an old factory. I mean, it speaks of what the neighborhood used to be, and we we're retrofitting it to accommodate us. And me and Zach are the entire workforce. Our distillery is gonna have a tasting room and a bar with a huge floor-to-ceiling glass window that's gonna look into the distilling area so people can come in for tastings and take tours and sit there and have a drink. We have a lot of ideas in the pipeline. We're currently working on a birch-flavored spirit utilizing entirely local and wild ingredients. We're experimenting a lot with fortified beers. We've also started crushing sugarcane in the hopes of, of making a rum from straight sugarcane juice. Together with other micro distillers, we're planning on making Philadelphia a destination for craft distilling. One of the biggest challenges of starting a small whiskey distillery is that the whiskey has to age before you can sell it. And so we're asking people to literally kickstart our first year of production by helping fund our two biggest costs, grain and barrels. Thank you for taking the time to check us out, and we look forward to sharing a glass of whiskey with you in the future.